Dave Soper here guys. I'm here to show you about a hot tub install. So here we have a couple different parts. We got an 8.3 copper tech cable. We have our spa pack over here. That's gonna go outside. This cable is also gonna run outside. We're gonna attach our spa pack to the house here and have it run past to this hot tub that's gonna be over there. I know we don't have the hot tub yet, but it's good to have your plan and be ready to go for when the hot tub does come. So first things first, we're gonna drill a pilot hole. All right, so we can see our pilot inside. So we're gonna have to drill a bigger hole cause we're gonna need a two screw connector to fit on that side to make it look good. But I wanna show you guys the different style of wire that we're using inside. So here we're using an NMD number eight copper. So the idea and the reason why we're doing this is because this wire is cheaper by a lot. So you wanna try to run inside as far as you can along the house. So when we were on the outside, we saw that this was the outside wall and then the deck starts. So this is as far as we can go with our NMD. So here guys, we're gonna use a hole saw. The size of this hole saw is to fit this two hole screw connector back through this hole so that the spot pack can sit flush on here. Okay hey guys, using our duct seal here, gonna seal up this hole. You wanna make sure that you have good seal here or else there's no point in even having insulation on the inside of the house. Feed that back inside. All right, that's in there. Get our level now. And we wanna put it on a straight edge back here. You don't want it on the knockout or else you're not gonna be level. Now all we need to do is get one screw in here and then we can kind of let go of it and get it balanced. Seals good in there, nice and level. And then we want to terminate the other piece to the bottom before we make our terminations inside of here. Hey guys, just gonna show you how to sheath the tech cable. So you don't have to be too careful on the outside layer because it's got armor inside of there. You can see it. Okay, now you have your armor. You wanna count three ribs there. You wanna snap that next one. And we're gonna take our pliers, I'm gonna cut that. And you're gonna see the rubber inside of here. Okay, now we wanna make sure that we have at least this much outside of there that's gonna sit inside this tech connector. You can see how it's gonna kinda of go in there. You wanna make sure that the rubber's past the threads. Then we can strip this. Be careful with this because now we have our RW90 wire inside of here. All right guys, and that's how it is. She's ready to go. 
Yeah. Downstairs. Look at you, Dees. Dude, you are cute, man. So we're just terminating our tech through here. Putting on our lock ring. You see that? There we go. Now what you want to do is take a flat blade screwdriver. Pliers. Tighten that up. If you have to use number six here and this becomes a one inch tech connector, then you need a bonding bushing on there if you're doing any work in Canada. Okay guys, I'm just gonna explain a couple parts inside of here first. This is your grounding bus. This is your neutral bus. This is your hot. So here you're gonna attach your inline. So this is gonna be the Lumex that's coming from the back. You're gonna put one phase here and one phase here. And then these lines here, you're gonna use your blue as your neutral. We'll tape some white on there. So that'll go up to our neutral bus. And then these two will attach to our breaker and the blue from there will go to the, uh, the neutral side of our breaker here. You see this one right here. Grounds first. Now what's happening here is it's stopping me from going through because this, you can see this is a neutral bus because it's isolated by plastic onto the, and all this plastic here. Your neutral is definitely not supposed to be touching your ground anywhere. Now I'm gonna wait on attaching the other neutral because it comes from the breaker. So next we're gonna attach our line side hots. Those are coming from inside. Now on phases, it doesn't matter which side you do. You can do black, red, red, black. So as long as you're splitting the phases in the panel and they're coming over here, different phases, it's not gonna care which side it's on on this. And you wanna make sure those are nice and tight. Just remember folks, they don't find it handsome, at least they find it handy. That's right, man. Just remember that. So here we have our tech cable. This is gonna be the hot tub side of things. So that needs to, red and black need to attach to the breaker here. I'm gonna pull this off so you can actually see it. I know I'm gonna regret this later, but you can see the white attached down low. This is our blue that we've taped 
to face tape. We got a red here, that's single face, single face, and that's gonna get power from here. This is your GFI spot pack that's on the outside of the house. So we're just putting the cover on, slides up in there. You get a little set screw here. That's how we get her done.